What's up guys, it's your boy Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my troll worship list, aka Green White Hexproof. Um, and continually looking for decks from the past that's done well. I think the last time I played this was, I want to say, Season 17. One of the first PD, whenever we had the first PD500, which I think it was 17. And um, I had won a random tournament with like a Green White mid-range list that kind of evolved into a Green White Hexproof list with... You know, just Hexproof guys like Troll Aesthetic, whatever, and Worship. And um, it was okay then, you know, in theory. And I think it could be good here, especially with some new cards added. So um, this 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 idea has been tried before. I think people usually play, like, lower curve stuff, like Glade Cover Scout, um, Solana Ledge Walker, and just, like, really cheap enchantments. But this is kind of more of a mid-range build of it. So uh, let's talk about the lands first, which I think is the uh, one of the more important parts. Because the mana is really good. Fortify Village, Scatter Grove, Sun Pellet Grove, all really good dual lands. Scatter Grove being a Forest Plains can help uh, trigger the Fortify Village early. Although you don't really need early white. Maybe just on turn two at the most. But um, these are really good because eventually you just like kind of flood out. So you can just start cycling these. And um, yeah, good mana always makes for good decks. Uh, the Hexproof guys, Glade Cover Scout, Basara, Tarl Archer, Troll Set. I think all just the best cards on Curve. Here, Glade Cover Scout's a super cheap guy. Hard to deal with. So you just get this guy into worship. That's that's already like nonsense for a lot of decks that aren't black, basically. Black or white. Um Tower Archer, you know, just again, another good on curve person. It is, you know, two drop has reach. That, that can be okay. But I think the best one is actually Troll Aesthetic, just because it has the innate ability to regenerate. Um one of the more um scarier cards against this deck is Day of Judgment. And Day Judge is not Wrath of God, where Wrath of God doesn't allow you to regenerate, so just having the regeneration clause here on the troll set is really nice. Um, one of my favorite, like, X-Proof guys for sure. Uh, Ages of the Gods, kind of a another different type of X-Proof creature. Because of the enchantment, it will play uh, nice with some other things here. But uh, for the most part, you having X-Proof is really cool. Because now another good tool against you, Edicts, are now off the table when you have this Ages of the Gods in. So this deck is a lot about just having like layers of protection for yourself until you can set up for a win. So, um, you'll take a lot of hits probably early, but once you get your, like, little, like, uh, layers of armor going on, you, you, you probably won't lose. So, <laughs> that'll be interesting to see. Birds of Paradise, nice little ramp spell, just kind of gets you from one to three, so you can get an early troll aesthetic, and then into a worship, which is kind of a beetle for some decks. Um, like I said, Wrath Effects are kind of a big deal, so Shield of the Souls is kind of a, uh, catch-all against that. Most of the time, I'll be enchanting a green creature, so the Indestructible Claws is nice. Uh, ethereal armor is kind of like the go big part of this deck. Um, usually in these decks, I'd play, play something like Armadillo Cloak or uh, Unflinching Courage, but I think Ethereal armor is just like really cheap. You can go on a really fast route of like Glade Cover Scout, double armor, and that's just like a lot of damage really early. So there's like some fast kills here for sure. Uh, Spirit Loop is just kind of the Life King thing. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of like probably catch up you have to play. So Spirit Loop is not bad at that. Spirit Mantle is probably the evasion part of this deck. Uh, like I said, you should play like Trample stuff, but uh, Spirit Mantle, like, this deck is mostly like creature centric. So once you get this online, no one's going to be able to block you. It's just basically unblockable. So that's pretty cool. Um, Worship is kind of the namesake card. Like I said, it just kind of shuts down a lot of decks, and there's a lot of ways to find them. Uh, Sterling Grove is kind of one of them. And if you notice that this gets other enchantments, Shroud, everything, every piece of this card is going to be used here. So you have like Sterling Grove and Ages of Gods, which also is an enchantment. Now they have to get through the Sterling Grove. And if you have a mana up with the Sterling Grove and they try to disenchant it, you can go find another Sterling Grove. Or if you have two of them out, now they each give each other a shroud. And now all of a sudden you just have this like hard lock on the game. Uh, unless they're playing certain types of stuff. But like even with this card, they can't like storm you out or they can't like bump in the night you or whatever. Uh, maybe mills could be a problem, but... Like, or mills may not be a problem, it's targeted mill, but yeah, this is um, kind of a hard locking at a lot of decks. Sylvan Library, great enchantment here to draw some extra cards when you need it. And a Dillo Tutor can kind of just like round out everything, find out what you need, or whatever. It might be just better to have more of these, but I'm just trying out a mix of all of this. Uh, the sideboard is kind of mishmash of like uh, utility enchantments. O Ring, just kind of a catch all. I didn't want to really play like a disenchant. They have like a, a ton of room, I think. So I think O-Ring's really nice. Rule of Law, just to stamp out those Storm decks, you know. Uh, Parallax Wave, just extra sort of like in creature hate. Uh, the 
back up your warships for a bit. You can buy a lot of time with Parallax Wave. Rapid Vigor, like I mentioned, uh, Wrath of X, pretty hard to deal with. So uh, Rapid Vigor is pretty great at regenerating each creature. Harmonize, um, just kind of like for grindier matchups, like, like mid-range decks, things like that. You just want to draw some extra cards. Retether is kind of in a similar vein where you can get it discarded a lot really early, maybe like some him decks, discard some of your auras, so this can bring it back. So I was also thinking of playing like Resurgent Beliefs, uh, the Suspend card from Modern Horizons 2. Not sure which is better. That might be better overall, but I want to try Retether out. It only affects auras, which is why I was kind of concerned about uh, playing Resurgent Beliefs, because this, this only targets like nine things, so I don't know. Uh, Graveyard Hate, Night House Spellbook, and Ground Seal, fun little enchantment that um, makes it so that you can't target cards in people's graveyards so yeah that's kind of good to play the small bomb first and then like later like end the game with a uh, ground seal so yeah they're like really niche cards that can beat the sort of like ages of the gods sterling grove thing like i don't know mutilate i guess ne nevin riles disc is really bad but hardly anyone plays that it's a really good card and no one really plays it well um, there's that's basically it beats a lot like a people too it's another card that's really great against this deck but this deck can beat a lot of things that not a lot of people play, so that's where you kind of want to be in a deck sometimes, where you can just kind of come out of left field and uh, catch everyone while their pants are down. So, going to play the tournament today, not streaming it, but if I were streaming it, it'd be on my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash underscore mecha. The description, <laughs> or the link is in the description below. Just click on that down there and go give it a follow. Or just, you know, like, follow, subscribe this YouTube channel if you're watching it. So let's go. Let's play some unstoppable threats with some fun little enchantments. Let's go. All right, round one with the uh, green white hexproof list on the play. Oh, uh, sure, I can keep this. This is not a bad hand. Kind of slow, but let's see what we got. Turn two, Grove, Ascetic. I did look tutor, find a worship or something. Doesn't seem too bad. Or even like an Aegis. Let's see what my opponent's up to. Jund. Okay. Hopefully I don't get hinned here. Or I get my stuff online. I actually might go find um, Ages of the Gods. <laughs> I might actually do that. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. I could get to rest here. That'd be annoying. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to do here. I'm just going to play this guy. Next turn, I can play Glade Clever Scout and Idyllic Tutor for something. Probably the Aegis. Okay. An oldie but a goodie, Putrid Leech. Third Savage Lands. Okay, let's just play more guys. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go get Aegis. Just to fight against, like, hymns or... Or random edicts if they have it. And then they can hopefully start drawing cards soon. I could have actually played this and then play that next turn. Let's see. I might actually just play this. I could have gotten Worship too. But uh, I just want to wait a little bit. A sprouting Thrax. This is old school. This is like... Um, this is Shards of Alara standard Jund. Actually, I think I think Worship just would have been a better god to get here. Um, because this is kind of a lot of people. I guess I can get it with Sterling Grove too, if I really want to. I, I tapped so badly there, too. Luckily, I drew the Sun Tunnel Grove. I 
Yeah, I might just go find a warship at this. I don't know if this really matters. I don't know if any of this really matters. Is that a metaphor for life? Like, I'll, I'll take all this damage. This is kind of fine. Okay. I'm gonna go look for it. I could find another grove later, but this is kind of a lot of damage. Okay, I'm forced up up. <laughs> so I can get edict here, but they can kill the Aegis to start killing or they have to have like some sort of like permanent that kills the worship. I'm gonna hold this in my hand to cycle. Eventually I will find some or that are enchanted to put on my stuff, like a spirit mantle and just start attacking. Okay, Doom Blade. That's a good start to edict me. Or hemming me, I guess. Okay. There's no Maelstrom Pulse in this format, luckily. But there are stuff that kills enchantments. Um, I'm gonna take all of this. <laughs> Go to one. I guess if they have like a loss of life thing, that would be really annoying. Okay, find another Aegis. I'm gonna cycle first. They probably actually have a, a pile of Doom Blades that they can't use. Man, I really need to draw some cards. <laughs> a library would be kind of nice. It's a good way of like kind of sifting through the stuff. Grove is really good too. Okay. Border post, interesting. So blood raid elf maybe. Okay, just gonna throw an axe. It's definitely a pile of creatures that can't kill me. So this is a good. This feels like a decent matchup so far. <laughs> I have hex proof, my guys have hex proof. This guy doesn't have hex proof, but it's okay. He'll have hex proof eventually. Or shroud. All the same. Not really, but Okay, cool. So I won by I won by not winning, which is not a good a great sign. <laughs> oh Do they have anything here that actually ruins me? I'm gonna try the harmonizes out. I'm gonna try the retether too. Oh the retether doesn't really do much when protecting a warship. Hmm. I don't know if shields are going to be good. Look how one. Library seems great here. I don't know if I need spirit loop. And, hmm. It's kind of hard to retether stuff when I um don't have a lot of <laughs> auras. Base card isn't that good. I want to cut for this. Be like a bird, some kind of birds, kind of a whatever card. They're definitely gonna regain like disenchants, so I just have to fight against that, basically. Oh, uh, sure, this is okay. Okay, border post. What a way to fix your mana. I don't know if they have any sort of like border post like stuff. Doesn't catch a future leech though. Jund Hackblade. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, I'm going to play this village. Show a forest here. This is a good curve, just leading out to a harmonize, kind of keep the uh the chain going. Blood hall ooze, huh? Okay. Kind of cool. They have a black and a green permanent in the in the hack blade. It's kind of scary. Okay, idyllic tutor can't find the uh 
the worship here, which is probably the play because they have hexproof. My enchantment doesn't have hexproof though, so they could kill it. Hmm. I'm gonna run it out. Let's see what happens. They can't duress me, so I know this is like good. Unless they like kill this somehow, but they have like a green mana open. I don't know. They could have a disenchant. Um, I'm not like it's not outside the realm of possibility. Okay, this guy's huge. This deck really needs Sterling Grove like all the time, huh? Taking all the hits. I feel pretty great about this, particularly because um I don't know. I don't I'm not gonna attack with everyone. Okay. Apparently they just can't deal with the warship. Some decks just don't bring in disenchants or have disenchants, so that's that's how you win sometimes. <laughs> Hooray! All right, round two with the Pain Drop Green Greenlight Hexproof list. The die roll, good start as always. Um, yeah, if I draw another land, this is pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. Go with birds, troll. Get a little crazy. Let's see what my opponent's doing. Sunken Hollow, okay. So I could like widen my threats here. I can go Archer, Glade Cover Scout, but I think I just want to resolve with a troll. If I draw another land, I just plop the worship down. I don't know what my opponent could really do. We'll see. I don't know what they're playing. Could be Storm, could be just like Blue Black Control, who knows? Blue Black Control could have a lot of tools though to deal with this. Alright. Um, I have the worship, but they could have like a counter spell or something, so I'm just gonna attack first. Can I get on the board? I'm gonna play this tower archer. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the Glee Cover Scout. I don't know why. I'm just gonna hold it. I I don't know. Maybe just afraid of something. Power word kill, okay. Probably one of the few targets it has, so that's why I've probably used it. I don't know if like they have I could just kill them with this, I think. I'm gonna run out the ages, see if it uh sticks here. It's another layer to protect me against like an edict effect. They probably have a, they probably have a kill spell for this. Like a okay, there's no ponder. Maybe like a blood chief's thirst, something like that. I, I I can imagine that if they don't have the right tools, this this could be a nightmare matchup for this kind of deck. Looks like they're more kind of controlly. Okay, um. I'm gonna play Shield of the Oversoul on this guy. We can't be Edict here. They can counter it with like a Mana Leak, something like that. Deprive, okay. Doesn't really deal with on the board though. If they do have something like Flying Tendrils, that'd be really embarrassing. But I'm just not going to play around that. I can't. Honestly, I can't. So. They would have to produce blockers at this point. And even if they had, like, they need two blockers. No, just one. I guess. Because um, they can just block the big guy, go to one. Okay, I guess not. I guess they don't have it. Okay, blue-black something or other. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what they really have against this. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just play some harmonizes. I think I'm gonna get to rest a lot. Maybe the retether. I'm gonna just try retether. We'll just try it. Let's get a little weird. I'll cut the spirit loop, which is really weird when I'm putting in retether, but I think it's just gonna be good enough. Um, hmm, just kind of want to shave some guards. I can shave some birds. They're they're kind of like bad against just random removal they may have. I don't know. Maybe shaving mana sources for when I do rain the four drops is not good. Uh, I don't know. I really like Ages of the Gods. I don't know if I need a bunch of Sterling Groves, to be honest with you. I do I do like tutoring, but I don't know if I need a bunch of them, because they're like blue-black. What do they have against enchantments other than like Feed the Swarm, I guess. So maybe I can cut like at least one or two of these. I'm going to cut a Birds, too. It's just, just hedge our bets. I don't know if I really need a ton of Sterling Groves if they're in colors that don't really deal with enchantments that well. Although, I mean, Sterling Grove also tutors, so there's no reason never not that. I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's actually pretty decent. I've got some uh, a library and a Harmonize here to fight back against some discard. I can only imagine them playing him. It's not a bad card against me on the early stage of the game. I'm going to plop down his library, too. Okay. Maybe not. But yeah. Cutting Nightbonder. Okay. So they're like a flash like deck. Okay. Well, I get to resolve the library, which I kind of like. This is kind of the part of the game where I don't like, and maybe matchups like this, kind of like tempo-y flash style, whereas I think it hold up like counter spells now and just have a threat, so it's a bit scary. I'd like the now that they've tapped out kind of low, I'd like to find a uh, troll aesthetic would be really nice. Would be super nice here. Okay, I want with Evie. Okay, yes. Um, hmm. Top. Top. I can take the next hit here, and then just have Troll setting the block for a while. Another way of just beating Hexfood Creatures is literally blocking. <laughs> so, um,. They can kind of just hang out and try to block this guy down. Well, they can even attack into it and try to force the action. All right, another ponder. Their hand is getting sculpted. Not really looking to see if they're shuffling or not. Because I get a look at this one. Uh, they're not shuffling, so some good things are coming their way. I like the I like that attack there. I think it's a really good attack. That just means they probably have another random flash creature. Okay, bring all all the lands. I'm gonna attack. They could have like a slither wisp here. I mean, I could just block it. Right, I'm gonna bring out a bunch of tower archers. Maybe all of them. So some probably gets countered. Okay, they're gonna have an opt. Alright, well, I'm bringing them all out. I'm not worried about like damage killing this. So if it's gonna if it's something to kill my guy, it's gonna be like like a wrath effect, like a slaying tendrils or whatnot. I'll block. <laughs> Don't think I won't. I think it's a pretty free block. Another ponder. So they kept this ponder for sure. I think they drew a land and a ponder, maybe. Not shuffling again.
I don't know if there's any, like, black, sort of, like, deal damage everything kind of hands. Okay, there's a lot of lands. I don't know what flash creatures they could have here. But I'm going to attack with everyone. Okay, let's harmonize. Harmonize it lets me like uh, turn through my deck a little harder with the library. Okay, it's fine. Okay, more ops. They're just opting away. Bottom draw there. Okay. I don't know if they have any answers to this. I, I really don't know. I'm just kind of like... I think they're just look, maybe looking to do it through combat, but the, the troll stack is really hard to kill. Like, really, really hard to kill. Okay, they got a cruise. Which would be good for them in normal circumstances, I would think. The ton of flash creatures like that, like Slither Wisp, and they have a lot of ops. This is this is a ton of card draw here. Um op, like what? Night Bonder. Maybe like something. Okay, that's good. Well, that's a good card. I can't play around that really. So they do have stuff like this, so that's good to know. They're playing Black Lance too. Okay. I think you have to pay four for one of these, just so um, I can kind of churn through them with the scattered groves. Because I'm not really drawing much off this library. I don't know how good library could be. I think I might want more tutors. A single library I think is great. The second one's going to be really awkward. Okay, more cruises. They're digging pretty hard. I think I'm gonna block. I'm not really in a great position here to take a bunch of damage. Like, I think I'm gonna find a warship soon. Um, that'd be pretty nice. See, so I found the library. Which doesn't really do anything. Can't really attack because they could have like a Night Bonder or something like that. Or even another Black Lance. That'd be pretty nice for them. This is not good. It's Factor Fiction. Okay. I want to split the um, creatures here. Probably do something like this. No, that's like a lot of lands. The deprive, I don't really want them to have a deprive, so it's either like a good creature or like whatever. This is not good, actually, because <laughs> I don't really have anything in my hand. I mean, this is kind of a win condition on its own because um, they can just have a bunch of flash creatures, so they're going to start with that. The difference is not like instant or sorcery, it's just actual flash creatures or flash spells. Remember Omen of the Sea? Man, no one that wasn't. Okay, um This blocks the Slither Wisp at least. If I get punished for not playing a land here, I'll be really annoyed, but I kind of want it to like him me or something, but I don't think they're playing him. Okay. Cutthroat's knife, a random flash guy. So there's like chipping away at my life total. Okay. This is the product of all their treasure cruises. I might need to bring in Parallax Wave actually.
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna draw like one more card. This is, this is kind of like poor play. They should have done it in their turn to maximize their the Brineborns. I don't know. I basically need to find a warship and none to not have a counter. So they're afraid of something. They're really afraid here. They really don't have to do anything except for like flash in a bunch of stuff. But now I can't be edict here. Okay, they have a black lance. That's pretty good. I guess another random downside of this deck is if they actually pile up a lot of creatures and you don't have a worship ready, this is uh the result of it. I think Shielder also could be really good. It's really good for blocking. So I think I have to remember that. I think I'm dead also. I've been dead. I've definitely been dead. The, the library has not brought up the goods here. Okay, I'm going to jump and see. Wish it done that last turn. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to reveal. Okay. I don't know I mean to do that. I don't want to give my opponent any more information. Um, okay, I still have the shields. I think I want all, I think I can't cut groves. Actually, I just need all the stuff. I don't like retether. Maybe it's not just a card I need. I think I'm kind of fine with this. Maybe I want Parallax Wave, I'm not really sure. I'll cut like a library for a wave and see how that goes. Sure, I can keep this. It's actually a pretty decent hand. I don't think they still have removal for my uh bird stuff. But they, I knew I do know that they do have um expertise, which again I can't really stop. Well, I, there are cards that can stop it, but I don't have them in my deck. Uh let me let me look real quick if it's legal. Specifically waiting for it. Wait for it. Tower defense. Creatures you control get plus O plus five and gain reach till end turn. That is the card that I might have to I might need <laughs> one day. If like, you know, people start playing those things. But tower defense is a great card. Uh if you're actually worried about those type of effects. But yeah. I kind of want to jam the Harmonize here. They have a counter spell, it's whatever. That means they're not putting a threat down. Um, it's totally fine. I think I'm actually fine with that. I'm not going to commit anything else to the board. I just got to have the troll aesthetic fight its way through. That's interesting. If they don't have an expertise, um, the Yinis expertise, then they're going to kill their own Night Bonder. It's interesting that they would play that there.
I like the attack, very nice and aggressive. They can have a lot of blockers for the uh, Troll Aesthetic. Double Aegis. That'd be it. That'd be kind of tasty for them if uh, I just plop them all down. Okay. I'm going to play at least one as a blocker, if not both. Uh, I'll just play wide and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm worried about, like, double cutthroat. It's kind of prevent me from attacking a bunch. At least this means they can't just, like, nuke their board. At least that, that's what it says to me, so... I could start, like, just trading off cards, I think? I might. I might actually just trade here. I don't think they have a removal on their deck anymore. Yeah, see, now the... See, now this guy's kind of scary, so you kind of have to respect it. <laughs> Regenerate's a hell of a drug. I'm going to keep attacking. Okay. I guess if they get like get enough like instant spells here, they can get their guy big enough to um just kind of like not not get damaged by it. This is where I need like a spirit mantle. This is where a spirit mantle is actually really good, or a parallax wave, I guess. At this point, okay, that is good enough to make the big cutthroat. Rumble with the Atroll Aesthetic here. Which is this kind of scary, because now this Cutthroat is, like, big enough to survive an Expertise. So I'm going to just put a lot of threats down, and hope it all works out. I, I need a Spirit Mantle, like, now. Spirit Loop would have been nice, too, actually. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting attack. I don't really need the birds anymore, so the birds can kind of just go. Or I can just block with, like, a single one here. It like, doesn't matter. To me, it doesn't matter. Okay, I guess we're just hanging out. I'm gonna hold that for now. Because if we could draw like a warship, I could just like. I think they're just holding counter spells for warship. I'm gonna hold back the troll aesthetic. Uh, I'm not in a great position to attack. I don't wanna start trading off my stuff, so I'm just gonna wait. They can't really attack with their Night Bonder or anything, really, because they have the troll out. Okay, Thera Armor is a nice one. Um, If I kept one of that, the other Aegis, this would have been kind of huge. I think it's like a it'd be plus two, so it'd be like a five four, which kind of trades with this. Because I have two enchantments. Okay. They need another flash spell. To make this even bigger. Or instant. Any instant, really. Still a 5 4. Or it doesn't do anything. My guy has first strike. My guy does that first strike, so. Excellent try. That's why I attacked. Now he survives expertise, too. Actually, not really, because, um,. If this would die, then it'd be a 4-3, and then it would die as well. So I need, like, a non-creature enchantment. I mean, if they have expertise at any point, it's going to be amazing for them. 
they're just kind of drawing into it. I can't really do much about it. Okay. Just to make sure it's not first strike. Sure. All right, first strike damage. Like, if I find another ethereal armor, like, it just double up. And no matter what happens, it's just, like, really good. I think they're just going to all out attack. Okay, or not. So the Hiram's the Abyss here. Okay. I guess if they have another flash spell here, the Cutthroat's really good. Okay, or not. Um, let's go. They're drawing a lot of lands. So have I. Spirit Mantle would be really nice. Shield and Ultrasoul is a big one, too. I'm just gonna load up this guy. They can have a counter spell, for sure. That actually helps to cut throw it out. They're paying for the replicate here, I think. Okay, Slither Wisp. Okay. Okay, now they're depriving. They've been holding out, I think, this whole time. Wisp is really nice for them. They can start just drawing cards off of flash spells. Not instants, just flash spells. I think they should really start attacking with some of these guys. Um... They can start just churning through, uh, chewing through everything else. But I mean, the crackback for them is really scary. All right, I'm gonna commit just a little more, I guess. Just try to push the last amount of damage. Like block, 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 block. I don't know. It just kind of like puts a scary threat on the board. If I find another deer armor, I might actually put it on the birds. It's the only flyer in the game in the on the board now. And it's like a two turn clock on its own. I could just commit everything if I really wanted to. Although the crackback would kind of kill me. This might be just too much overextension. But if I could resolve a worship here, I mean, the game's kind of over, right? But they're like just piling up cards. Not really doing much. Okay, there's another armor. I have choices here. I can target the birds. Or I could just put on the troll aesthetic. If I put on the troll aesthetic, I guess it's really huge now. <sighs> so many thoughts. I have so many thoughts here. I think I'll just put on the troll aesthetic. I think it's a safe. Because if they have like power word kill randomly, that'd be so annoying if they had it. But I'm gonna put it on the troll. They probably just have a counter spell. I wouldn't put it past them, yeah. They've drawn like they just drew like three spare cards. I need a spirit mantle. That's what I really need. And for my opponent to not have a counter spell. <laughs> they shouldn't really be playing lands, but I really can't play around the counter spell. I shouldn't be playing lands either, but actually I do. I kind of need to play lands just because I kind of need, um, okay, it's another wisp, which draws a card, just kind of annoying. Again, they're not maximizing their cutthroat ability, but they just want to draw cards because now, like, an expertise is just super good. I like almost die on the spot to an expertise. This might be one of those, like, kind of turns where I kind of hold the worship, or I just play the worship and hopefully I don't have a counter spell for it, but. 
this is getting messy. I'm growing more land. This is getting really messy. Not in a good way. Not in like a fun messy way, but a bad messy way. Monastery Siege. I don't even know what that does. It should say cons. We say cons. It's way better. Okay. That's really good for them. It's the only part of card advantage that anyone has. Another armor! Um, I'm gonna put it on the birds this time. I think it's the best. I think it's the best target, because it's... <laughs> but I doubt it's going to resolve here. They're thinking. They should counter it. <laughs> they should definitely counter this. I have a lot of mana to pay for a big... So lose focus one two maybe not maybe I don't have enough mana I'm sure I think I'm sure like one what does it pay with the birds maybe I don't know so does it get plus three uh so it's a two turn clock at this point Okay, so they did this wrong. They could have had, like, a black here. Okay, how many replicates do they have? Eight. One, two, three, four. So I have to tap the birds here. They can end for, like, one more. If they, if you... They, they, they kind of messed up. So get to use the black source here for the colorless source. So maybe all that lands were really good. But now it's like delay is the inevitable. inevitable. But I think this is a good time to pressure, but we'll see. Okay, um, don't really like them having another Factor Fiction, so. I'm gonna do this. It would be crazy if they took the four, I think. I think Factor Fiction is the best card right now. Wow, they took the four, interesting. Power and Numbers, I think, is the, 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 the things I'll save them. I don't think they really have a flying defense here. I mean, I guess the... I, oh, the Paragon actually draws them cards. Oh, you're right. You're right, dude. You're absolutely right. You know your deck better than I do. This is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. This is um, a bit troublesome now. I mean, he's also drained me, which is kind of annoying. We draw another ethereal armor though. The game is might be over, but I think they'll have counter spells for it this time. They've drawn like six cards this turn. Actually, they've drawn like ten cards this turn, kind of by my fault. Reading, reading, reading is fundamental. I mean, the most of the cards were like air, I guess. Like no matter what, they were drawing three cards there, minimum, if not like four. And expertise is still good here, by the way, because it kills the other enchantment here, which is this, which makes these only plus two, and that just kind of wipes everything. Now you just die in the spot. Like, if they have an expertise, they should just do it, and I will die. It will instantly die. I think they're figuring that out now. Yeah. Oh, is this an O one? I mean, maybe not. No, wait. So, like... 
Maybe they don't die. Can I not math? Am I bad at math here? Well, this is going to go lower. So, so it's like a 2 1? What's happening? Minus 3. Can I do math? Yeah, okay. I am right. Wow, that happens all at once? That's crazy. Oh well, I mean, I, I was kind of dead to that card, so couldn't really do much there. I kind of drew out of that. Right, round three with the uh, Pain Dreadful X Fruit Bliss. I'm going to mulligan this hand. No lands. Mulligan this hand, really no lands. Uh, this hand's fine. Not amazing. I guess I have to cut the Tower Archer. Maybe the Ethereal Armor. See either that or the Ages. I'm not really sure my opponent's playing. I wanna... I'll cut the Armor for now. Ooh, red. Okay, this is a pretty fine matchup if I draw a Warship at any time. It's a pretty great matchup. They can't really kill anything. <laughs> Direct damage, pretty, pretty bad against Troll Aesthetic. I will say that. So if I just draw Worship here, I don't know if I could lose the game. Okay, expected. If anything, this like, eats a bolt here and doesn't go to my face. So it's like I have Hexproof. Double Hexproof. Okay. All right, they're pumping. Hmm. Surly Grove goes to find the thing. I guess if I play this, then I'm just protected against spells for now. But I'm not protected against, like, my life going away. But if I draw a Warship here, the game's actually over. So, it's kind of the plan. So, can't target me, can't target my enchantment guy. So, <laughs> direct damage, not really that good. So, which buys a ton of time. Which actually buys it a whole lot of time. Because the next turn I can play the Ascetic here, and then like Grove for the uh, Warship, I think. Interesting. I think I'm just going to Grove for the Warship now. I don't think I can lose this from here. There, I guess there's like a tiny window where like they could have a bunch of instants to kill me. No, because they have to go through the ages first. I guess something like a price of progress plus a big attack is really scary. Okay. Okay, I can't lose from here. I mean, there's not enough damage to kill me. This is bugged. Okay. I guess it's a free block. They don't have a, like, I mean, not even like a. I don't know what kills me here. Here, I'm gonna go find a worship. And now I really can't die. <laughs> There's no way they're killing a troll aesthetic without, like, me messing up. I could have attacked with this guy, too. I should have actually attacked. I don't know why I didn't attack with this guy. Because I'm, I'm just so ecstatic that I've already won this game. 
I will eventually find things to kill them with, like a spirit mantle or something, or even just this guy just keeps crashing through, but I guess the, the Ash Elf's a really good blocker. I don't think they have, like, light loss of life things, or... I don't know what red could have, like... There, there are, like, colorless spells that kill this... What is it, that lesson? Introduction to Annihilation, something like that. That's, like, a spell that could kill me. <laughs> Shrine. Shrine doesn't really do it either. Shrine does kill the Aegis, though. I suppose. Maybe if they had, like, main decks Faltering Suns, I just never tapped out, and I tapped out in some way. The Troll plus Worship is just, like, such a lock against these kinds of decks. This is exactly the matchup I want to see all the time. Like, I actually don't know how they're going to beat me. <laughs> like, I, I could, like, make all these, like, pseudo, like, things, but no one would play these kind of cards. There's no way. Like, I have to mess up for them to lose, which I probably won't do. <laughs> like, as soon as I find, like, a Dillic Tutor, I'm just putting a Spear Mantle on one of my guys and top the race. It's another Hexproof person. Excellent. It's more of them. More Hexproof people. And somehow my troll said it goes down. Then the next card's up. I mean, they could have... What is the card? Detection Tower? Detection Tower's scary. That's a scary card to see. Um, Isn't there, like, a, something that, like, Flame Break? I think Flame Break's a card they could have. Yeah, Flame Break's a really good one. Um, okay, I think I can start attacking now. Now that my guy has first strike as well. So now I can start attacking with the uh, Troll Aesthetic. It's going to get plus three, plus three. That's all I was waiting for, just a random enchantment. Well, this is a really good random enchantment. Okay. Spirit Mantle will just end the game. Um, yeah. There wasn't even enough damage to kill the Earthshaker, so, or to kill this. I was, that that could have been a, a funny trick if I did enough damage, but I also had first strike, so it didn't take any damage, like, at all. Okay, there's Spirit Mantle, and now the game feels quite over. I should have more enchantments in my deck, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should actually have actually more enchantments. One, any more enchant, and any another enchantment here will end the game. Valiant effort for my opponent to to stay on stand. Okay, it's another troll. What if I played? What is the thing that makes everything else? Enchanted Evening. Wow, Enchanted Evening would be sick. <laughs> That'd be a sick card, huh? With the Ethereal Armor. It's just a 5 mana, you die. <laughs> 5 mana, you die. That'd be funny. Alright. Um, yeah, this matchup feels pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how I could improve it. I'm gonna play some waves just in case. I'm gonna cut the libraries. I think that's pretty much it. I think it's all I really can do. You never know, they can come out really quickly before the Aegis comes out. 
for uh, any of my sort of like worship effects. I like I said, I don't really know. If I if I got all my ducks in a row, I have no idea how they win this matchup. There are very few like there are very specific not specific ways that mono red can deal with stuff enchantments. Like no one no one plays introduction to annihilation. No one plays this card. It's actually not bad. It's a much better um what is it? What is a seven drop? Um, exile target permanent. Oh, what is it called? I can't. My brain is scour from existence. No one also plays scour from existence. So this hand is a bit wonky. I am gonna keep though. It does have a grove, which finds it, which finds a worship eventually. So I'm going to keep, but this is one of those hands that can kind of get out of control. If I don't draw the correct sequence of cards. I think I just want a pile of idyllic tutors. Like, just forget the middleman with um, Silver Library. I think I just want a pile of tutors. I think that's actually correct. As long as I make my land drops, like, the tutors should be really good. Like, I don't know how they beat Sterling Grove. Because, like, just, like, groving it up is, like, really good. So I just, like, I think I just want, like, eight tutors. Let's Ash sell it, absolutely. You got it, man. Um, okay, there's the Warship. I will plop the Warship down. And then find any creature. <laughs> then you should find a creature. Okay. Like any hex root creature will do here. But just I have one of twelve. Hmm. I could die here. Um, but I do have a creature. So is this helpful? If I draw another Sterling Grove, maybe I can, um... I could find a, uh, what do you call it? Ages of the Gods. That's a really nice. But yeah, this is the scary part of the game where somehow if I don't draw a creature here, it's gonna be a bad time. Like, if they have just a burst lightning here, the game is, like, kind of over. <laughs> I actually thought this could be something like um, Sylvan Carry added, but... Oh, I found the troll right on time. Oh, God, that's so brutal for my opponent. Now I can go find Spirit Mantle with this and just start attacking a bunch. I'm going to take this, because it's just damage goes to one. Oh wait, what happened? What happened? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, what happened? <laughs> wait a minute, what happened here? That's not good. <laughs> Oh gosh. What what happened here? <laughs> um did this just break? Did this just actually break? 
Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. Am I, did I just like witness a break? <laughs> did I just like witness a break? I'm gonna keep playing, but that's really silly. Like, I shouldn't have lost that. I, I didn't block because I wasn't afraid of dying. <laughs> Oh man, that's 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 quality in a nutshell. Um yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This game's not bad, but that's 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 just brutal. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. You could say that, but have put that into the ether. Definitely had a creature, had two creatures, had a warship, and then took some damage, and then I died. Like, I will continue to play the game, but that definitely was not supposed to happen. I don't know. I don't... I don't really know what to say about this. I'll have to keep playing, but... If I play, I think our bug policy is that if, like, if you play with bugs, if you play with car, bug cards that, um, if they have a disadvantage to you, then you, you take the responsibility of the disadvantage. So I have to just keep playing. I don't think they understood what happened. I don't know if they understood how worship works. <laughs> I definitely like had a warship <laughs> and I definitely had a creature, so I shouldn't have taken any damage. Now that they said like what I, I typed in the, the, the chat, I was like, I don't think that should have happened. They're like, huh? They're like, no, well, you know, good luck. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know what to say about that. That was just um not cool. I'm a little I'm a little verklempt here. I should have attacked. I don't know why I didn't. I'm just a <laughs> I'm just a bit <laughs> I'm just a bit flustered right now <laughs> in ways that no one could ever tell me I'm not. I mean in any sense of like now I can kinda just like get a small lock going where none of this really matters. Um, I'm going to play the Aegis here. So now I can't be burned out. But I can still get attacked to death. Maybe they've just been like cheating this entire thing. Well, they can't target my Aegis, so that's good because that's Shroud. They can't target my Aegis because that's Shroud. What if Worship just didn't work? That's 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 funny. What a funny deck tech. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this. Um, I will have to play this. Just a race against the clock at this point. Mm. I could go find um Spirit Loop, but I don't want to actually get rid of the Grove right now. I just kind of need to, like, not die. 
I could block, perhaps. They're also taking a bunch of damage, though. Okay. Is this a human? It is a human. Okay. This is kind of a wild game right now. Okay, I'll put shield with the Oversoul on this. A good way of killing them first is to make sure I don't die first, I guess. Or just to kill them first. All I'm worried about is creatures here, so... Attack. I'm gonna attack. Next turn I can just play a bunch of other Hexproof things, just to block for a while. I can definitely win this race with creatures. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, this guy doesn't give me a hexproof? <laughs> like, my all my plans are just foiled right now. That'd be great. Um, let's think. Well, they have a ton of blockers here. I mean, can only die through damage. Combat damage. So, I'm just gonna attack first. I think I'm just gonna put out just a lot of, like, random creatures. Okay. Yeah, I'll put a... No, I'll put a... They're both humans. That doesn't really matter. They're kind of both hexproof in a way. <laughs> I really can't get rid of the Grove because it really protects me from... The Aegis protect me. And also just pumps my Ethereal Armored Glade Cover Scout. I mean, I could get a Spirit Loop here, and I think I could just, like, swing the game in my favor. Okay, um... I could take this, I guess. I don't, I don't see a reason not to take it. I think I just oversold my other... Like Glade Cover Scout. Okay, that's another grow, which finds um something else useful. It basically finds like Spirit Loop or Spirit Mantle. Probably Spirit Mantle. Okay, just attack with my big guy. Whatever worship just didn't work at all, and everyone just respecting it. We did just have a recent um update where um the new Innistrad said might maybe that help came out. So maybe they just kinda of broke everything. Which is definitely possible. Definitely could have just broken everything. But this is um this was actually fairly close, but I had a bunch of just like cheap enchantments. This has worked out perfectly. At least this is working. Presumably. Presumably this is working. But yeah, uh, if they pass turn here, I'm just going to go find the uh, Spirit Mantle, equip my Glade Cover Scout, and hopefully that's enough to kill them. It should be, I think, exactly 10. Now my Sterling Grove doesn't have Shroud, unfortunately, but it should be fine. 
All right, Spear Pencil goes on top. This should be 10. Plus 2, plus 1 here. This should be 10 on the dot. Oh, it's 9. Uh, I'm wrong. Well, I mean, this is an all-out attack. That's pretty easy. I can only really block two things. This can't be blocked, and they can only block two, and then one more comes. They even activate this before blocks. Okay, first strike. Trailer strike. All right. Got through it, despite MTGO's best efforts. I actually won this match. <laughs> All right, back with the uh, round four of uh, the Hexproof deck, which uh, I, I went through actually a test match. Actually, funny enough, with Crazy Bailout to help me test that weird bug that happened. And we couldn't replicate it, which was really weird. We, we had almost everything right, and now we're playing each other in the tournament, which is really funny. So... I, I don't know. Now I don't know what my deck... I actually know what they're playing because I kind of peeked at them in the middle of the ones. They're playing like a black-white braids deck, which is actually a really scary matchup, but I'm going to keep this hand. Um, it's just really scary because like braids doesn't really target anything at all, so that could be like really annoying. Um, And it's an enchantment, which I can't really kill at least game one. Or it's a creature, which are kind of hard to deal with. So it, they could just play the braids, and eventually I'll have to sack everything because it doesn't really target and... It's just super annoying. So this is probably not a good matchup, I would have to say. And I do need to win this match to make top eight, because I'm the lowest sixth. <laughs> After that, uh, black, black, blue, black deck beat me. I just really haven't um, gotten. They haven't really gotten a win from that. Okay. Okay, ten. I'm gonna play the Aegis of the Gods here. Um It's pretty good against like a him if they find a him somewhere. They have to go through the Aegis now to get through me. Flopping a braids down is like not that like, it's fine, I think, against this. Okay. Ooh, they missed the land drop. I I'm sure this invalidates a ton of cards already, which is totally the plan. Get a worship down. I have my trolls. Maybe this is, well, I mean, it's a bad matchup if they don't, like, you know, play lands and stuff. Braids is good here. I still think Braids is really good here. Um, but I have four lands, which is more than enough for me to start doing stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to trade. Luckily, I have like the sort of um creature advantage right now. So I mean, they get a sack the wellspring here, which is like a good card. They just get a card out of it, but eventually, I'll start like troll set a king. I think I have enough land to kind of just like cheese my way through this. Okay, Dark Ritual's nice. Okay, Ritual Set is actually really good, especially since I don't have an extra green source. That's that's really good. <laughs> this is one of those Wrath Effects I was talking about. Now they can hit me. Oh, my troll! I needed that. Ritual Set's actually really great in this deck because it actually dodges the braids, so kudos. Uh, I can still draw a troll aesthetic here, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Okay, I'm just going to concede. I'm totally behind on permanence. 
I know how this goes. <laughs> I played Braids decks before, and this is the exact position where you want to be in, where they can't just like three for one you. And then actually it was more like a five for two. But then they just kind of kill you from there. Um This is probably the match for Rapid Vigor. This seems kinda nice. Retether could be okay too. I don't know. I think I just want O rings. I think I actually want a straight O ring. Maybe Parallax Wave too. Spirit Loop hasn't been super impressive here, so I'm just gonna cut it. I I, I don't mind the worship land. I think I, I think we're bringing Harmonize too. This is kind of a lot of cards. Shield the Oversoul is pretty good, so I'm gonna keep that against the um. The thing. I think I just have to worry about a Braids itself. Everything else is like kind of whatever. I could bring in. I think I'm bringing the waves actually. Just kind of morph into this weird pseudo control deck. I don't think I need a million armors. It's kind of this is kind of awkward actually. I already know how to board. I don't mind having birds because it's, it's just a really cheap permanent to have. I think I'm board. I think I think actually I'm overboarding. I feel like I'm overboarding quite a bit. I'm not gonna play harmonize. Matter of fact, I don't know. Maybe if I'm gonna bring a harmonize in this matchup, where would I bring it in? Do you play a kind of birds and a grove, or just like, but like cutting four drops? I don't know. It's just awkward. Okay, let me just save like two of these, two of these. Um, one of these maybe. Uh, I like. A little one armor spirit. <laughs> I don't know how good it's gonna be. This is not a hand I can keep. This hand is okay. I can keep this. Don't really need double worship. Need to draw a land. Okay, Astro Lip is a nice card. Just a kind of a redraw. Hmm. I want to play the Aegis. I think it's way important that I don't get hinned here. Okay. That was a good draw if um I didn't have the out. I think I'll just play this for now. Oh, wrong card. Click the wrong thing. Just because I want to resolve this harmonize. I've seen this deck before, and like just like I've seen the list before. It's actually really interesting. I don't know how good it is, but it's definitely interesting. I can say that much. I think we're both just playing for the top eight bird. Okay. Just a lot of like little like pseudo card like one for ones and then big two for ones later. Or just the, the slow, the slow choke, the slow choke hold is kind of nice. I'm gonna harmonize here. Just kinda, I'm trying to catch up. Okay. I mean, I do have a bunch of stuff, which is not bad. I can start attacking slowly. I kind of realize this deck doesn't really attack very fast. That's kind of the mid-range lifestyle. I think I'm going to run out just, like, the wave, I think. So I can't get, like, killed by this token. Okay, there's a wrap. Hmm. thinking I want to draw some lands here I want to just play the archer it might be like 
good enough for them to try to play the, the ritual and soot. But then they can just play the wrath, so just kind of a nice counter to it. But then they can plop the worship afterwards, and they have to have another ritual or a Dave Judgment, I guess. Okay, they're just churning. They're doing it. Oh, Doom Foretold. What does this do? It's like a non land, non token permanent. They can't. Okay. They have more of those than I do. I mean, in fact, they have the Dreadhorde Invasion, which is really good against me. Hmm. I'll get rid of the Aegis for now. I'm gonna play the worship while I can. I don't know, that's not a good idea. Or I could play the wave while I can, but they're these like they can just start sacking wellsprings here and I'm just like so behind. I'm just really behind because I haven't played any land, so I think I just have to go for like Hail Marys. <laughs> when you're when you're missing land drops, it's not really good to play against a stacks style deck. <laughs> that's like not cool, actually. So this is the perfect opportunity for them to wrath the board, I guess. But I imagine there's a sack of wellspring here. It's a card. They have like so much like stuff to eat while my stuff just kind of goes down slowly. Okay, now the hymns come out. That's fine. It's not really worried about that hymn. It's a dispute, maybe deadly dispute. Okay. Which is a great card for this deck because it makes a it, it replaces the artifact it sacks, and then they draw two cards. <laughs> it's pretty insane. So this means I I actually have to sack. Oh, this is man. This is maybe that was not the good idea. I wanted. I'm gonna have to take out this doom foretold with a O ring soon. I'm gonna get rid of my birds here. Okay, I found one. Nice. But I have to get rid of this. There's like no stopping. <laughs> like I have to get rid of this. Now I kind of wish I had like disenchant. I can't attack into the mistress factory, but I really need a land. <laughs> I actually really need a land. That'd be really nice. Because eventually this token's gonna get lifelink. <laughs> okay, more hymns. Didn't get rid of the Aegis. Funny, funnily enough. But I, I, I can't die. I have the worship. I mean, I don't think I can die with the worship. Aww. So if I can get back to... Okay, that was good. That was nice. <laughs> they had a seal of cleansing, of course. Okay. Found the land. Um... This is really bad. <laughs> I just kind of missed a lot of land drops. They got really ahead really quickly with the between the astrolabes and the will springs and starts just land drops in general. I didn't draw any lands. Okay, you can't hit me anymore. You can't break me. Uh, again, I could draw another O-Ring and try to stay in this game, but the problem is if I draw an O-Ring, I just die because I just don't have, like, enough stuff. I don't have enough stuff to live. Alright. Like, eventually my stuff just gets eaten by this Doom Foretold. They could have, like, another Doom Foretold to enchant, but... That's a rough one. That's actually a really rough matchup. What's up, guys? Your boy Jimmy here. Back with the final thoughts of the uh, Troll Worship list. Two and two. Um, I did lose the matchups where I knew I would lose. So things like, like I said, th things like expertise or just sack. 
weird sack. I was. I mean, the parade deck is not like a deck. I would, those two decks are what I expected. So, but I mean, against like like creature decks, it should be fine. Except for that weird bug. I'm still trying to figure out what happened there. And I think what it was like. So when I look back at my game history, um, I was at four when I had the worship, the troll aesthetic, and the birds of paradise. My opponent had two ash zealots and then another random like creature. And so, like, maybe, like, the... And exactly, like, two Ash Zealots was, like... Was there just 2-2? Two, two. So it's exactly, like, 4 damage on first strike damage. Maybe just didn't check or something. I don't know. Maybe the, the first strike damage thing checks and the regular's like... That's such... That's so bizarre. Where it's, like... That doesn't even seem right. So, I don't know. Anyways, with the deck, um... I, I kind of want to, like, just change a lot of things. I'm actually just going to do it right now. Uh, the first thing I just want to play four. I did look tutors. I think library is like fine, and I can play it as like a one of. But I think this could just be really strong. I don't even know if I need like spirit loop to be completely honest with you. But I mean, I, I do see some like weird things where like late cover scout, and you play double armor, and it's just really strong. So I don't know if I need this, or even shield with the herbal soul at least in game one. So I'm not really sure if I really need these kind of like wonky cards. What I really want is just, like, a bunch of... I don't know what I really want. <laughs> then, to be fair, I actually don't know what I really want. I just want to make room for, like, tutors. So, like, I could do this. And then, like, maybe cut this for, like, one of these. So that's, like, four... I, I really just want, like, four tutors. That's, like, my big thing. And just play a bunch of armors. And then eventually something that, like, makes it unblockable. Which I think Spear Mantle is the best at. But you really do have to, like, set that up. Because you only really have one shot at it. Because if they play like a million creatures, then it's just hard, kind of hard to push through. Um, so maybe that's just like enough to play like Spirit Mantles. Because I don't know if I really need Spirit Loops or Shield of the Oversoul, at least in game ones. Let me think. I don't know about like other R's. I, like, I'm just like kind of like ripping this off the top of my head. But I do like the idea of just a bunch of like R's. Maybe I just have like Ethereal armors and spirit mantles, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, instead of just not, like, not worrying about, like, the indestructible thing, just have, like, spirit mantles like this. The loop can be okay. It can kind of catch you up in some matchups where you kind of need that to happen, but I probably just don't even need it, to be completely fair. Um, hmm. Like, I honestly could see something like this. Like, not even cutting loop and just playing a bunch of spirit mantles. Spirit Mantles, Ethereal Armors, and just kind of, like, loading up on a Hex... Because that's all that matters. Once you get this and this down, you're just trying to, like, kill them. And this is all you really need, I think. Uh, the Groves were good. Like, this this worked out just the way I wanted it to. Especially in that Game 3 of the Mono Red matchup, where I didn't even have the Worship, but I just had this and this. And that was just enough. Eventually, I could just drop a Spirit Mantle or Ethereal Armor with a big... Or <laughs> with a guy here and just kind of... Uh, take that over so that's all you really need so i mean i could see trying to fit a four spirit mantle maybe i could like cut a land for one maybe like planes it's not super impressive so i could just do this i could see just this being good enough honestly because this is all i really want in terms of like enchantments like this pumps big and this just makes things unblockable so I could replace this with, like, a trampling enchantment just to, like, mix it up. I could play, like, Unflinching Courage. That could be okay if I was just worried about, like, other things. Because, like, um, yeah, just, but that, that only relies on, like, Troll Aesthetic being good. And me already having Ethereal Armor, so who knows. Uh, sideboard here. I don't like Retether at all. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to actually play Tower Defense. Because that's a really niche card, but I can only lose the niche things, so... I think I'm actually going to play that. Uh, and I'm also going to play Seal Primordium here. You know, again, niche stuff. But cheaper is better. I can only really lose to, like, random enchantments or artifacts, I think. Maybe I don't even need Wave. I don't think I even need Wave, to be completely fair. I think my creature matchup is actually pretty decent. So maybe I just don't play Wave. I just play O-Ring here. This is just a good catch-all. Uh, but yeah, Tower Defense is the card I was thinking about. Really good against like things like Mutilate and Yuhini's Expertise. I think it's really strong when like that's all that matters. I don't know about the wraps. I don't know how many people are actually going to play like 
like Day of Judgment decks. I'm actually up one, so let me just cut this. I'm still worried about Graveyard decks, so this is fine. Harmonize wasn't like okay. I don't know if I really, like, really need it, but it'll just like stay there for now. Really don't know. Um if anything, I could I could see like this being another O-ring. And this being the third wrap. That could be or just maybe like three and three here. But uh like three tower defense, three wrap. I don't know. But these are like okay. I don't know. I did have a problem just kinda like getting getting things. That's why I'm playing for Tutor. Like you can almost see like Harmonize being played main deck, but I think Tutor is just stronger. Tutor does find a creature, but like it doesn't find finding a hex tree creature is a bit harder than it seems. So I could play Harmonize here. That'd be kind of nice. It's just like a four drop. <laughs> it, it is kind of just like a four drop, so though, so that's kind of like awkward. Yeah, maybe just try it. I, mean, I could try it. I don't know how like much I'll play this deck, but maybe that's something I'm doing. You're just watching like a live sort of like react to my own deck. And then in the sideboard. Maybe I do want O-Ring. I just want like. Oh, you know I could play actually like Council's Judgment. That'd be really nice. I don't have to like. I don't have to be Council's Judgment is another card that's actually amazing against me, by the way. But I need just like catch all removal. In fact, I probably don't need O-Ring for that. I probably just want Council's Judgment. There's double white, which is kind of awkward, but it's just a really good card. Um I'm gonna need stuff like that, I think. Can I play the third seal? I guess that's fine. I think it covers a lot of bases. I don't know what base is trying to cover though. That seems fine. This is okay. This looks okay, right? I think I'm really light on lands, but like, let me look at my curve now. Look at my curve. Oh, kind of goofy. It's a really goofy looking curve. It's kind of a mana hungry deck. I did. I did get mana screwed in that one game. So, oh, the birds can maybe be just like. Instead of birds, maybe we could just play uh, Sylvan Carry added. That'd be not bad. That's just another Hexproof creature that's really good, so... Why don't Force and Carry added? It's interesting. I'll get those later. Um, that, that That's kind of ruined, like, the fast start, so maybe Glade Cover sounds not as good, but you can go, like... You can have some weird turn of, like, Scout Double Armor, and that's just, like, a really good draw. Like, the Ledge, the ledge Walker is not bad, either. Solana Ledge Walker... That's kind of like a guy. Um, that is kind of a guy that just it has its own like built-in, like room like evasion. So it might be better. It actually, could just be better. It could just be better. I mean, look, look, how do I spell it? So Hannah Ledgewalker. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that over the scout. I could like, I I'm I'm just getting higher on the curve. This is so silly. Oh, I do have these. I do own these. Interesting. Look how high I am on the curve now, <laughs> and I want to cut lands. Okay, I'm gonna cut this for this, and look at this. This deck already looks sweet. Look at all my hexproof guys and or things that give me hexproof. Okay, let me just kind of sort this. So yeah, that's the look of the deck I'm looking at now. Just kind of like utility guys, some really annoying hexproof guys, and then some just like kind of card draw. This is not bad. I think I could live with this. I think the carats will be better than the birds. Like having fast starts is nice, but you don't really need it. Like, this gets you the, really, you just want to go, like, if you go like this, Worship, that's a lot. That's honestly just a, a bigger game than Bird's Worship. So, like, getting a 1 to 3 isn't too bad, but 2 to 4 seems, like, way stronger. So, hmm. well, all right. Well, that's the list, and that's the little improvements I like to make. Um, Thanks for watching. That was a weird bug, but, you know, that's MTGO in a nutshell. Sometimes it's a quality program, so... That's sometimes you never know what you're going to get. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. But if you want to get giving the deck a whirl, just be aware that worship might not always work. But that's any card on MTGO. But yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Like, follow, subscribe, comment below. If you want to, if you have any other ideas for lists. I have a couple more ideas for the PD500. So but that's, that's, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, subscribe.
See ya.